Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a very chill one. We are going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me with some products that I already own and that I already love. It seems that every single week, every single day even, even now that it's getting closer to the holidays, every single day new products are coming out and it, it, it can get kind of overwhelming and just like getting those products and having to devote videos into doing reviews, but for now, I am feeling a little bit overwhelmed. I have something like super huge going on tomorrow. I am flying to the East Coast alone for the first time. So <laughs> the nerves are definitely getting uh, the best of me this morning. So I just wanted to sit down, do my makeup, chit chat with you guys a little bit, talk to you guys about like how I'm feeling and so on. So it's definitely going to be a chill one. It's going to be a little bit long, but please do bear with me. <laughs> I really enjoyed how everything just came out and how I'm feeling at the end of this video. And for today's video, I'm going to be using an eyeshadow palette that I had been dying to use one more time time after I got it on my BoxyCharm box, which if you didn't see that video, I will link it right up here. And it is the Alamar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe eyeshadow palette because the eyeshadow look that I created that time was okay, but it wasn't my best. And I wasn't able to like really show how I achieved that look. And when I saw these teals up here, here in this palette, I knew that I wanted these on a separate video all over my lid. And in looking for inspiration and how I could use those beautiful colors for the eyeshadow look that I have going on today, I found these looks by these talented ladies, which if you haven't checked them out, I will link their Instagram's accounts down below. Go ahead and check them out, give them some love because they definitely did inspire me to create this eyeshadow look and gave me like the the confidence to just step out of my comfort zone a little bit and combine colors that I wouldn't have thought to combine before. So I absolutely adore the eyeshadow look that I came out with today. I don't want to take it off. I want to take a bunch of just pretty pictures for Instagram, share them with you, which if you don't follow me on Instagram yet, this is my account right here. Go ahead and check it out. And yeah, before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel before you leave, because after this video, I'm definitely pumped to keep creating and keep creating more beautiful looks for you guys more tutorials and things like that so if you want to see how I created this look how you can recreate it as well and everything going on all of the things that I wanted to share in this video and the products that I used then please stay on and keep on watching <laughs> So we're gonna jump straight into the makeup. My skin is already primed, it's already moisturized, and it's good to go. So we're just gonna jump in straight into the foundation for this video. And for the foundation, I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. I haven't used this one in a while, so we're gonna go in with this one, and I am in the shade 203. Every time I use this foundation, I'm just amazed at how beautiful it is and how like beautiful coverage it has it's once again become one of my favorites and i use it a lot i use it almost every single day i just love like the luminosity and the dewiness that it gives my skin even in this hot summer weather here in arizona it's still able to just give me like a beautiful like healthy glow to my skin and i just love it so much i've been wearing it constantly once the foundation is done we're gonna move on to concealer and for concealer i'm gonna be using my May Maybelline H Rewind Concealer, this one right here. And once again, it's the same one that I use all of the time and I just love it. I love how full coverage it is under my eyes and just, it gives you like a very beautiful finish. And we're gonna blend that out as usual. And I am gonna go in down the nose a little bit like so, just to help us with that nose contour in a little bit. I kinda wanna do a dedicated video on how to nose contour. I think that it's it's become actually like one of my necessary steps, like one of those steps that I just have to do because I do notice a difference and how it's just able to like stylize my nose a little bit more. So I do wanna make a dedicated video um, just about that. I am leaving to Ohio um, 
tomorrow which is part of like the reason why I wanted to just sit down and relax a little bit and do my makeup and really like take my time to myself because I am feeling a little bit nervous now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of powder I'm just taking my Cody airspun in the lid right here and yeah like I was saying I'm flying tomorrow to Ohio for a work trip they do this kind of like leadership camp and it's literally like a camping you go camping and hiking and things like that with a group of people that get selected from the company and you go on this trip for an entire week and this is my second time on the plane <laughs> and it's my very first time on the east coast i know like a lot of people were kind of like surprised at my job but for me and my immediate family that's like no weird thing you know i grew up in a very small town and I don't know we're just like very homey I always like to stay close to home because my mom's like three hours away from me and from Phoenix so I always just like to stay close to home and I've never gotten the opportunity to fly in a plane so I know my boss was shocked <laughs> when she found out that's not the reason that she chose me for the leadership camp I um, we had to do like a little video saying why we wanted to participate in this camp and so on and I just really wanted to like learn more about like the the company itself that i'm working for i do work on the um, media industry so i do want to learn more about like the company itself and i really do want to just strengthen my leadership skills and just become a better leader in my office being able to just like lead others and like really show that I love what I do at my job and just being able to encourage others to like encourage the heart is one of like the leadership practices that they um, that they push on you in our company which I think is wonderful because I feel like whenever you encourage the heart of your co-workers that just shows in like the overall morale of the workplace and it just makes for an overall like happier workplace when you continuously like show your appreciation for the things that others do in your company at your workplace and that just shows in the overall image of your company and and just like why everyone goes to work every day everyone just if if you build a happy workplace people are gonna be happy to show up to work not just because they're getting paid but because they actually love what they're doing and they love helping the company grow so that's one of the reasons that i wanted to go and but now that it's like one day before i'm feeling super anxious and just like super nervous every time there's like a new thing happening in my life whether it be like a really big event something new for me well right now it's just flying alone for the very very first time across the country on a six hour flight having to like switch planes on my own not knowing airports very well it's kind of like getting to me a little bit right now we're a day before but um me and my husband were actually able to sneak in a little quick trip to vegas last weekend and it was just like a 45 minute um flight from phoenix to vegas and i was able to look just look around at the airport and know the things that i'm supposed to do where i'm supposed to go the fact that you're able that you're supposed to check into your flight a day before 24 hours before that you're supposed to go in through security Security, how security works you definitely do want to wear socks <laughs> when you're going through security you don't want to be barefoot um, the things that you can and can't take on on the plane all of those little things were like the things that I was worried about you know but now that I was able to go on this quick flight I know that there are tons of people there like assisting you and just um, able to answer all of your questions so I don't feel too scared anymore i do feel scared just because i'm on my own i am using my butter bronzer to bronze my face right now just fyi and something that i've been doing recently just to deepen out my contour and my bronzer just a little bit is going in with a smaller dome to brush like this one and then just go in back into my bronzer and just really deepen out the sides right here I feel like I'm going to do something very dramatic today. I'm feeling like doing something very glam, very done up, just because I really want to play with makeup today and just really take my mind off of things and just relax and just, 
you know, ease my mind a little bit. I know like for the past weeks, um, all of my coworkers have been like asking me and even like yesterday was Friday and it's, you know, like the, the Friday before me leaving to Ohio and it's like people kept asking me like, are you excited? Are you excited? You're going to have so much fun and it's so much fun. Um, like two of my coworkers had already done this camp in the years prior. So they were like, oh, you're going to have so much fun. You're going to meet new people. You're going to step out of your shell a little bit because I'm like super quiet at work and all of these things. And I just had to like not fake it, but just like dilute my nerves, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it, it was just me being like, yeah, I'm so excited. This is my first time on the East Coast and I'm thrilled. And, you know, I talked to my boss and I told her I was like, I'm super I just told her thank you so much for just like the opportunity number one and for her like trusting me and being able to represent like our group our our workplace like on the higher ups because I'm going with like at the headquarters of where I work so um, I'm definitely representing all of us and I just want to make sure that everyone knows like what a fun workplace I work for and that's something that I really want to do just let let everyone know that that I love the place that I work for I love the company and so on and not only that but being able to work um, in the in the media industry um, kind of it's allowing me to build like the skills to put into my YouTube channel as well like being able to do YouTube it's just allowed me to like strengthen my video editing skills all of that because it just allows me to learn I'm there like to learn and just being able to like take the things that I learned there and being able to use it on my hobbies and on the things that I love to do that I'm passionate about like YouTube and making videos and just being on camera and just being creative being able to take that and use it here it's just been awesome and I really want to take like all of that and just being able to find like what my dream job is if it's like staying with that company for the rest of you know until I can work on my last day or just maybe do something on my own or like what it is if I am gonna be doing something on my no like what would that look like I don't know yet and I do feel a little bit like stressed and like down about that because I'm on my late 20s and I just really want to know you know I'm one of those people that I do get anxious easily so it's like I want to know where my place in my career like what where I should be you know I'm now gonna go in with this brush right here and it's the Firma 202 brush I got this one in an Ipsy Glam bag and it's just been wonderful for nose contouring I'm so sorry if you do hear my fan on the background I know it, it might be a little bit distracting but it's super hot in here it's the start of fall today like technically it's the start of fall today but in Arizona we didn't get the memo we never get the memo and it's still a hundred and some degrees outside it's still summer right here bright and summer so it's kind of funny like when girls um, come in to work with pumpkin spice lattes but it but it's like a hundred plus degrees outside I'm like that must must be comforting to get those pumpkin you know that taste of fall but I mean you have to get the taste of fall somewhere you know so I kind of get it <laughs> But it's just like super funny because I want to wear sweaters already. I want to wear boots, cute boots, and I don't know. We have to wait a couple more months, probably until like November, honestly. But yeah, I kind of lost my train of thought for a little bit. But um, as I was saying, I am feeling a little bit like nervous about my trip tomorrow. It's my first airplane ride by myself it's gonna be a long one it's gonna be like around six hours and I do have to switch planes and my mind my brain just goes at it whenever like something new whenever something that I'm stressed about or nervous about is about to happen and I know that I'm supposed to get like a good night's sleep today and just like not worry about it but my friends like nope you have to go through everything that will be going wrong tomorrow. We have to go through all of that at three in the morning. So <laughs> I'm just bracing myself for that. And I know it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be an easy night 
tonight I know I'm not gonna be able to sleep I don't take um, sleeping pills I used to but I don't anymore just because I'm scared of like not waking up on time or like being too deep in my sleep where I don't hear the alarm I remember on my wedding day I was the same way where everyone tells you you know it's the day before your wedding get a good night's sleep but my brain was like nope go over everything go over every single detail of your wedding right now at 3 in the morning when you have your first appointment the next day at 8 in the morning so I didn't get any sleep on the night before my wedding and it was just like thanks a lot brain thanks a lot for just like running and just doing your own thing and just like pacing back and forth and just being wide awake I watched YouTube the entire night but I was able to push through it I think like the day of like as things were happening I just like I was running on pure adrenaline you know I was just running on my own and just my body did its thing and by the time you know the party ended the reception ended I just was dead and wanted to sleep and I did get a good night's sleep after the fact of course I would get a nice nights of sleep afterwards so this is how I'll usually bake when I'm doing like something super glam and now that we have all of these like powders cooking in I'm gonna go in with highlight and I'm gonna go in with my Milani after glow highlighter in the shade strobe light and just really highlight the face and once that is done, I'm going to go in with blush and I'm going to use the Laura Geller New York blush that I got on my BoxyCharm. It's this one right here and we're just going to go in and just kiss the apples of our cheeks and add a beautiful touch of color. I'm just excited, you know, about like sitting down right now and just being able to chit chat with you guys. I just really feel like this is, is going to help me just ease my mind a little bit. Like after right now, I'm just gonna go do some laundry, pack up my bag and just spend some time with my husband. My husband does work today, so I'm just gonna wait until he gets back so that we can go out to eat, go de-stress a little bit, maybe walk around the mall for a little bit and just once again, just take my mind off of things. I'm leaving for the airport tomorrow like at six in the morning so again i do have to wake up early but my mind i know it's not gonna let me my brain just does things like that to me whenever another time where my brain does this is if it's like my first day of work you have to get a good nice night's sleep to be focused at your first day of work but my brain's like nope you're gonna dream about being late, you're, you have to like think about where you're gonna wear, you have to think about how you're gonna socialize with people because I'm very like socially awkward. So my mind just runs through these millions of things that probably aren't even gonna happen but my brain just wants to think about them, you know? <laughs> All right, so while that is cooking, I'm gonna go off of camera really quick, do my eyebrows because it is super hard to do your eyebrows on camera. I haven't been able to like figure it out and master it. So I'm gonna do those off of camera, be right back and just jump straight into the exciting part, the eyeshadow for this look. All right guys, so brows are on and I'm now just gonna like brush off the bake that I have going on right now. And for that, I'm just gonna use like a domed brush like this one just to really brush off the powder and not only that but just like also blend in the edges we don't want any um, harsh edges when it comes to our nose contour and anything like that kind of like diffuse the highlight a little bit as well go over everything like that that and hopefully you'll be able to like tell the difference i feel like it does a huge difference in just like stylizing my nose and making it a little bit like pointier and once all of our powders are done we're gonna go in with just a little bit of setting spray and i'm using my milani make it last setting spray that i absolutely adore like so fan it out and even use your sponge to really like press it into the skin like so and i feel like we're now ready for our eyeshadow so i'm gonna scooch you guys a little bit closer so you can get a closer look all right so now that we're up close and personal we're gonna jump straight into the star of the show for this video and it is the alamar cosmetics reina del caribe palette right 
here. The very first thing that I'm gonna do is prime my eyelids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, this little guy right here, and just go all over the lid to give my lids a clean slate for our eyeshadow. And then go over that with our sponge just to really make sure it's nice and blended in there. And then after that, I'm gonna go in with an all over the lid shade. I'm gonna go in with the shade. It's this color right here called Decade. And I'm gonna use that to go all over my lid. And then after that, I feel like I just wanna jump straight into color and I'm gonna use the shade Coco Taxi from the eyeshadow palette. And I'm gonna take that all over the crease. And I am using the Morphe R39 brush. Just really pack on the color a couple of times go over and just deepen out that color to make it really show up and really make it show up like super super pigmented and opaque and just really take your time to make sure everything is nice and blended once again you don't want to have any harsh lines and this is a step that might be a little bit boring but it's definitely worth it because it's just gonna look like super blown out in the end and it's just gonna make for a very like airbrushed and soft look to your crease and it's gonna be super worth it. It's super easy, especially for me, to get like kind of desperate and just want to be done with an eyeshadow look and not take the time to blend things out. But I've learned that this is what really like distinguishes looks and it just sets you apart when you really just take your time to really focus on that blend. It just takes your eyeshadows, eyeshadow looks to like the next level in my opinion. Something that I do struggle a lot with is just being like like confident in myself to know and to like just go for color combinations that I would want in an eyeshadow look like for this one I did take inspiration and I do want to mention that I took inspiration from this image right here which I thought it was absolutely beautiful and once again I never would have even like thought to combine an orange with a teal like that to me it just like in my mind it would sound weird at first but once I see it like in inspiration pages and from other artists that just like go for it I feel like I just need to tell myself just go for it you know I feel like art and makeup it's just like an expression of yourself and if you have a vision for something just go for it you know you never know what's going to how it's going to turn out it might be like the most beautiful thing you've ever done and in the end you're gonna look back at it and be like I'm glad I took the shot and I just tried it and if it didn't work and if it doesn't work if what you ha had in mind doesn't turn out the way you you thought it was going to you can just wipe it off and start all over again you know all right so now that the color is nice and in there <laughs> we're gonna jump into the next color which is called tropico this shade right here here kind of like a deeper orange so we're gonna use that to just deepen out the crease and for this I'm gonna use a smaller tapered brush like this one we want to make it so that the brush really gets in there and helps you deepen things out a little bit more just adding more dimension to your eye look once again I've only been able to use this eyeshadow palette once I do wish I had like more time to really like enjoy the products that I get on my boxycharm boxes and really create new looks but then new products are coming out so I feel like I want to devote videos to the new things that are coming out and do reviews and things like that and because I do work full full time I only have time to make like one video a week on my Saturdays I'm very like selective into like the videos that I do and if it's like a boxycharm box that's my video for the week and if it's like a new product that's the video of the week and I never get the chance to like really enjoy the products and the makeup that I do have and that's why I really wanted to do this video today because it, it feels more relaxed and it just feels like a playtime you know I know these products I know that these um, eyeshadows work well I know that these products um, I that I like them and I don't have to worry about making or building a review and thinking about did I get every single point right I can just sit down and just play 
you know, and relax, which is once again, what I wanna do for today. All right, so now that those two colors are on there, we're gonna go in with the shade of the show for this video. <laughs> we're gonna go in with Varadero right here, and it's just like a beautiful blue. And we're gonna go in the middle with the shade Celia right here. These two colors are just gonna make for like a beautiful all over the lid color, and I can't wait to put this all over my lid <laughs> and to do this i thought it would be fitting to use the alamar brush right here and this is the one that i got on my boxy charm box and it's just a beautiful packer brush i really enjoyed using this one if you want to do cut creases this is also going to be a good option for you and we're just going to dive in straight into Varadero, that beautiful blue shimmer shade on there and just pack it all over our lid And I would normally use my fingers when it comes to shimmer shades and all over the lid looks, but I've been finding that whenever I'm doing these bold colors on my lid, I will use my fingers just to get like super strong pigment. But when it comes to just placing the product in the places that I want it, I wanna use a brush just to get those clean lines in here and to really make sure that the color doesn't go up here and disturb my crease who would have known right that brushes would allow for more precision <laughs> it's my discovery of the year <laughs> all right so we're placing the color on there and i have not sprayed my brush with fix plus and you can you can see the pigment right there it's absolutely beautiful that's why i was like so excited to just use this palette one more time and get this color on my lids asap because it's it's just stunning they did such a beautiful job with this palette i can't wait to see more shadows from them i think they should have launched more shadows before brushes that would only be like my assumption i really thought they would come up with like a volume two to this palette because the palette is called um reina del caribe volume one so i am waiting for volume two all right and i am gonna drag the same color like underneath my eye because i want to mimic like the top portion to my lower lash line like so this is what i have so far and i'm now gonna go in with a tiny blender brush and it's the morphe 506 this is what she looks like right here and it just really like lets you get in there into like the tiny details of your crease and we're just gonna use it to make sure that these um, blue edges right here blend in nice and good into our orange like that and if you get a little bit of like um, patchiness right there don't worry just go back into your blue and pack the color where it's missing and you will be fine and now for the lid color we're gonna go in with Celia again with another packer brush like the one we used before this one's a Morphe one and it's basically the same thing like a concealer um, flat brush and we're gonna go in all over the lid right here and it's not being as potent as the other one so i'm really gonna pack it on there i'm gonna go ahead and spray my brush with a little bit of setting spray and see if that helps it like so let's see if using our fingers that's better see that's the thing fingers never fail you to get like that strong shimmer out of your shadows that's what i wanted we're gonna take a little bit on that brush because i want to be precise up here and put the shadow right in here like so and now we're gonna repeat the same thing on our lower lash line in the inner portion right here and now to add a little bit more of shimmer to my lids i'm gonna go in with a product that i've never used before actually i'm gonna go in with the bh cosmetics eye lights eyeshadow it's like a liquid eyeshadow it's like a dupe for the stila ones so it's just pure glitter this is what it looks like this is what the color looks like and i think it's gonna be like a perfect match to the look that we're doing right now this is the color when you swatch it and as you can see it's just a beautiful like duochrome like green and blue metallic shade and we're gonna use that like right on the center of our lid like right 
there. <laughs> That's beautiful. Holy crap. Like that. And then use our brush to just blend it out. I think I'm going to go in with a little bit more because I think the brush took off a little bit of that um, shininess and like metallicness that it had upon first application. So I'm going to leave it like that and then go in with our flat brush with the color Bandalero on the blue shade. The dark blue shade that we used out here just to really pack on that color and make sure that the edges are nice and blended and that the center shade does not overpower the entire lid and that you can still see that blue color on the sides. I'm not like an expert when it comes to halo eyes and it still does take me a long time to do them but I feel like I'm getting better and I know that with practice, it's only going to get like better than this. So if it's not absolutely perfect, I do apologize, but I'm doing my best, you know. <laughs> We're going to drag down the color on our lower lash line just a little bit more to like make it more noticeable. Like that. And then take that liquid eyeshadow, the BH Cosmetics Eye Light just add a little bit to the lower lash line as well and then with our larger blending brush the one that we started out with the morphe r39 we're going to go back into the orange um, shades i'm going to mix both of them and just really smoke out that lower lash line and now what i'm going to do to clean out this part of my eyeshadow i'm going to go in with a pressed powder and i'm using the rimmel london matte press powder it's absolutely gross because i use it all of the time for touch-ups and i'm gonna dip in my sponge in there in that powder and just go underneath my eyes like so and just really clean them out and make sure I have a clean line like that and then just blend out the edges over here. I'm gonna go in with the shade El Malecón right here on my inner corners. So that is what the eyeshadow work looks on this eye right here. I really love it. I love this combination of colors so much. It's it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm now going to go off of camera really quick, do my eyeliner and lashes and mascara, and then I'll be right back just to show you how it all looks together. All right, guys, so I'm back and this is how the finished eye looks. I absolutely love how it all looks put together with the lashes and everything else. I did add a little bit of white on the waterline right here. I've been recently obsessed and just using white on that waterline. I feel like it just opens up the eye and it just looks very like doll-like. So I've been super obsessed with doing that. I am using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil for that. I did the lashes, some mascara on my bottom lashes and it just all came together like this <laughs> and now I'm gonna go ahead and go off of camera uh, finish up the other eye and then we'll be right back to do some lips some final touches and just some final thoughts and this is the final look you guys this is the final thing all done up I actually went ahead and did my lips off of camera just because I wanted to pick the right color that would be like the right match for this bold eye look and I have to say I absolutely love this eyeshadow look I've never been able to do like a really good tutorial for eyes on my channel so I am in love with how it came out and I knew that this color from the Reina del Caribe palette would be the perfect one to show off all over my lids and I absolutely adore the result on my lips I am wearing the flower beauty um, lipstick right here and it's a matte lipstick it's in the shade of cinnamon rush I didn't mention my lashes the lashes that I'm wearing as always are my house of lashes lashes in the style boudoir and that was everything you guys this is the final look I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video and just letting me vent out a little bit when it comes to my nerves and flying to the east coast for the very first time tomorrow wish me luck and I think it'll it'll be fine it's just 
my nerves are getting the best of me so it was super nice to just sit down film for a little bit and just calm down and just to de-stress a little bit with you guys thank you so much for allowing me to do that and if you did like this video like i mentioned don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and just this just has me like super pumped to keep creating more makeup looks in this channel so stay tuned for that i want to thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here i really do appreciate it and hopefully i will see you all on my next video <laughs> Bye, guys.